Hey everyone, you're live with Eric, and we're here at the Hacienda in Playa del Rey. I'm, I have here with me here Brooke and Smith from the movie Mischief Night. Hey Brooke. Hey. Hey, thanks for coming on. Um, Mischief Night. Let's talk about Mischief Night. What's the, what's the significance of Mischief Night? So Halloween gets all the fun, right? Everybody always celebrates that, but Mischief Night is the night for Halloween where people kind of get into trouble and get into mischief. Um, you know, it's kind of pranks and, um, you know, toilet paper, people's houses, and you know, all that fun stuff. And it's actually, as you, if you watch Mischief Night, we'll find out, it actually can be a very scary night. Um, Even more scary than Halloween, maybe. <laughs> Well, we want to talk about this clip that we brought. It's uh, Malcolm McDowell. He's actually introducing himself, knocks on the door. Um, let's check this out. Hi. Hi. You're very cute. May I ask you, uh, are you uh, alone here tonight? There's a lot of crazies out here. The night before Halloween. If anyone comes to your door, don't open it. Hello? I think there's someone here. Wow. <laughs> like most teenagers, rebellious, just gonna answer the door. <laughs> so I have that rebellious nature in me a little bit, kind of going against the flow. Um, but at the same time, I don't think I'm gonna be opening my door to people. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a little more guarded than that, like as far as safety is concerned, because you have to be living in LA and, and all that. But. Well, that makes sense. Well, I can definitely say there are a lot of twists in this movie. It's definitely a watcher. How did it, how did it feel working with your cohort, your co-actors? Um, well, I mean, who doesn't love Malcolm McDowell? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was amazing just to be able to work with an Oscar winner um, and somebody as experienced as he is. And just watching him work was just like, I'm kind of starstruck. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm like, whoa, this is, this is how the pros do it. But um, other than that, the movie was really just me. I mean, um, like, it's funny because Daphne, who's my best friend, in the movie, um, we never actually had any moves. We never shot together. It was like we'd be on the phone with each other, so I would just have the drug someone off screen reading the lines, but as I pretended to talk to her on the phone and vice versa for her. So we, we would joke. We're like, we're best friends, but we never actually <laughs> acted with each other. So um, tell us a little bit about Brooke. You know, uh, give us a, a, a typical day for Brooke. Well, when I am not counting the payment going on those auditions, um, that takes up a lot of time, um, obviously acting, but uh, which I love. But other than that, I really am um, kind of a homebody a little bit. I love my dog. I have a little puppy. Well, she's not a puppy. She's nine years old, but I call her a puppy. She's always a puppy to me. Her name's Chloe. She's a schnauzer. Um, so I take care of her runs and walks on the beach. And I do yoga and I love cooking and um, traveling. I didn't. Um, my brother is a pilot, so I love to just kind of like travel over and go trip on trips with him and stuff like that. Any, any projects coming in the future or? Yeah, I do. I have a couple of projects coming up. Um, I did this new show on NBC that'll be out next year. Um, not exactly sure the air date yet, but it'll it's on NBC. It's called Aquarius. Uh, David Duchovny's new show, uh, and it takes place in 1968. And they're um, they're kind of they're vetting Charles Manson, so it's before the Tate murder and. Um, all that stuff is kind of a gritty, gritty cop drama trying to solve the cases and all that. And I um, play a girl named Lori, Lori Price. She's a USC uh, cheerleader dropout. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. Sounds fun. Um, tell us about, you know, you actually have a recurring role in Awkward. How's, how's that going? Yes, Awkward is awesome. Awkward's a lot of fun. I, I enjoy working on that show because it's, it's kids, you know, my age. And um, we just have a lot of fun kind of goofing off and in between takes. And um, it's fun because they, they've been on, they're in season four now. So I came in on in season three and they were really like accepting and, and welcoming of me as a new character. And everybody on that show is great. And the hair and makeup, can they just be with me? all the time because they make around. me look amazing. I'm like, I wish I looked like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you look great. Um, but uh, how about, how, do, you, do you do anything outside of the acting part? Do you have any charities or anything like that going on? Yeah, actually, I'm a big advocate uh, for this charity, um, Champions Against Bullying. Um, I was severely bullied growing up my whole life, really. Um, so I really wanted to get on board and help 
kids and teenagers deal with what happens when I feel so alone and nobody accepts me and nobody loves me and you kind of just feel lost and I really love doing my part in helping people feel like no, if you're not lost, you're okay just the way you are, and it's all good, it's all going to be okay. Because, you know, as a teenager and a young person, you feel like school, like, this is it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Everything, everything's a big deal, but I think uh, Chairman's Hands Bullying kind of shows people that there's life outside of it, and that you, you'll get through it and life gets better, and kind of teaches you how to deal with bullying, and, um, you know, that it stems from their own insecurity, and, and not to let it hurt you as much as possible because it's a hard thing to go through, it really is. I can imagine. That's a pretty awesome cause. Uh, yeah, thank you for doing that. That's, that's, yeah, that's no, awesome. it's my pleasure. I love being able to be an advocate for that. Right. Well, uh, thanks for coming on. How can people, Is are you on social media? Can anyone yes, follow I you? Yeah, I'm on Instagram. Oh my it's Brooke Ann Smith, Twitter, Brooke Ann Smith. Um, who say, which is a new thing. I don't know if people know who say, but it's like an up and coming thing. And Facebook, yeah, just just Brooke Ann Smith. I keep it simple. <laughs> okay, well, we'll and we'll put more of that at the end of the at the end of the credits, and you'll see um, how you can actually follow her. Um, well, thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Appreciate you spending time you. with us today. Thank you. And now you're live with Eric. Stay tuned. Hi guys.